Hi, it's April from a Noble Garden. And the first thing I wanna say is thank you guys for all of your support. I have 52 subscribers. I never thought I'd get even 10 or 15. So thank you guys for your support. I appreciate everything. The other thing I wanna say is, is if you're ever watching my videos and I say something wrong or you have another way of doing it or so, any advice, don't be afraid to hit me up. I hope you guys are learning from me and I would love to learn from you guys. One thing I want to talk about again today is books. So in my video, like maybe a week ago, um, my weed rambles is what I called it. I talked about bugs and I talked about ladybugs. I, however, did not find ladybugs in my garden. I was wrong. After talking to another gardener and looking up more pictures and doing some more research, they're not ladybugs, guys. They're called harlequins, and I may be saying that wrong. I'm not really good at pronouncing things, so I'm going to put that in the description so that a way you'll know how to spell them. They do look a lot like ladybugs. I'm going to put two pictures up on here. I'm going to put a picture of a ladybug. And ladybugs are red bugs with red, black circles. Harlequins, however, are like a reddy, orangey color, and they have stripes. And now I'm gonna put a picture up of the bugs that I found. And in that picture, you'll notice they have stripes. So they're actually bad bug guys. They kind of suck the um, sap out of the plants and they make the plants wilt. So I do need to take care of them. In a minute, we'll go over how I'm gonna take care of them. But if you remember my video, I thought I saw a squash boar moth fly by. And I did guys, I'm pretty sure I did. I'm out in the garden now and I wanted to thin out my squash plants and I found some of the squash boar eggs and I wanna show that to you guys right quick. There you guys have it. That is a squash borer egg and you want to get those off because if that hatches, those little worms go directly inside of the stem and they, they eat your plant out, hollow it out and cause it to wilt. So I'm gonna go around and hand pick all those out. And if you have squash plants and you live in the south of the United States, I advise you to do the same. Talking about bug infestation, look at this guys. That's some serious caterpillar stuff going on there. And hopefully in this video, I'm capturing some of the, we're gonna go ahead and take care of this today. So let's get started on taking care of this now that I got all the squash spore eggs off. Okay guys, what I'm gonna try today is soapy water. And what you wanna do, I found a recipe and you wanted to put four to five tablespoons of Dawn soap into a gallon of water and you literally just soak your plant with it. I'm gonna try that one first and see how it goes. And then the next few days, if I'm not noticing any changing, especially that plant right there, the plant with the caterpillar worm damage, the best stuff to use is the stuff called BT. It's the best to use for it. So I might spray that one down with that. I think I'm gonna try soapy water today. In the next few days, look it over. If nothing's changed, then I'll put BT on stuff that has worm damage. And then to take care of the harlequin bugs, I'll put another stuff down that's called Diamantaceous Earth. And let me show you what that is. So this is Diamantaceous Earth, and you can find this. I bought this off of Amazon, but I have seen it at places like even Walmart. Um, but you want to make, make sure that you buy the food grade one. And what you do is you put this down, and it is a white powder. Let me show it to you. It's a very thin white powder. But you don't want it to get wet, so you gotta make sure everything's dry. So that's why I'm gonna do soapy water today to kind of also water my plants real good. In the next few days, if I notice it doesn't work, I'll make sure I water it really, really good, then put the stuff down so I can skip watering for like two days. But this stuff is harmless to humans, but it shreds apart the ecosystem of insects. Um, this is fossil shells of freshwater microorganisms. I can't really explain it very well, but there's something about it that breaks down the skeletal system of, it's like glass going through their bones and stuff. I know that sounds really, really bad, 
But that is how it kills them. It dries them up. It's really sad, but these bugs can't take over my garden, so you gotta do something. Since I'm in my greenhouse, I went ahead and decided to show you what BT is. So this is what BT is. Um, it says it controls worms and caterpillars, but this is a um, organic way of doing it. So like I said, if the watering of soapy water doesn't work, then I'll go to this next. And you can buy this anywhere. I bought this off Amazon, but you can buy it um, even at Lowe's. All right, guys, when I set soapy water, I'm literal. You see all the bubbles in that, okay? I'm going to set this camera up so y'all can watch me water this bed with it. You see that how that came out? Soapy water will not hurt your plants. It only takes care of bug issues. So you're going to see me just splash it and not care. It falls out of this bucket. I actually encourage it. here I'm gonna go ahead and put some soapy water down in this alleyway just in case that's where they're living All right, guys, there you have it. That is how you take care of soapy watering your beds to help with bug control. I will keep you posted on how it works out. Thank you for watching my videos. And remember, if you like them, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.